What's going on guys? We're on track eight. Yes, fragile. This is mood for a day. This is Steve House solo track, right? His instrumental. Mood for a day is House solo track, which was his second acoustic guitar solo put on a Yes album following Clap, right? Which was very cool. He played a Condi flamenco guitar, but considers the album version substandard in comparison to how he learned to play it on stage years later. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Wasn't it was underdeveloped or something like that? Yeah, him and Rick Wakeman have that have that standard, apparently. Okay, well, let's get into it. Mood for a day, bam. Yeah, I mean, he's great. He's great. It's cool. It's nice. It's nice. I mean, I, I, I'll be honest. I, I feel like, and maybe I'm only saying this because of what he said about it, but there are some parts of it where if I were him, I would feel like I could get that cleaner. I, I could play that cleaner, you know? I'm not him. I, I can't play this at all. <laughs> I'm not a guitar player, first of all. There's that. Um, also, I'm well beyond playing, you know, trying to play things just for, you know, when, when people are like, well, you play that. It's like, I don't, I have nothing to prove about that. I, I'm not going to learn how to spend all this time learning how to do this piece just to play it for you, just to prove a point. I'm not, like, I can, but I'm not going, you know, like, way past that. <laughs> Anyways, again. I feel like there are parts where if I were him, just based on what he's saying, listening to this now, there are parts where he probably could have played it cleaner. And he probably listens back to it and thinks, yeah, I could have played that cleaner. Or maybe 
it has to do with pacing, maybe, right? How he paces the different sections and phrases that he feels like he does that better, right? So it's still nice. It's very nice, right? I mean, the guy can obviously play. He's ridiculous, right? He's fantastic. So I, I feel like if he didn't say that, I may not have said what I said, right? Maybe, maybe not. You never know. I can be unnecessarily harsh, but that's how I feel. And I'm not saying it to criticize. I'm saying it because just hearing him and hearing hearing somebody with at this level of talent and just hearing what they can do and then hearing different things that they do do, you get uh, an idea of again, what they can do. So it's like, if you hear something like this, you're like, oh no, they can do this cleaner is what I said about this. There are certain parts, specific parts of this that I feel like he could play cleaner where different things kind of wrung out a little bit that, would, that maybe wouldn't be there, right? It would be cleaned up a little bit, right? That, that whole thing. If he were to do it again, yeah, that's all. Or if he were to, you know, work on the piece, live with it for a little bit longer, which it sounds like he benefited from in the long run. It's like, yeah, that one, that recording was not great because the more I played it, the better it got. All right. Okay, cool. Anyways. Okay, so that's it for, uh, for all the solo tracks and now just thinking about all these solo tracks okay so you got cans and brahms you have we have heaven which wasn't really a solo track to me at least because it had right it still had it had guitar bass and drums in it right um and then the fish which also wasn't exactly a solo track because it had vocals and drums on it right and then mood for a day out of all of them i'd skip all of them oh and five five percent for nothing right which also wasn't it had guitar and bass yeah i, I would just skip all of them i would do exactly what i did in high school <laughs> well they're just not interesting enough to me I, I for me i prefer tracks like roundabout south side of the sky long distance run around and next Heart of the Sunrise. Like, that's where it's at for me. That's what I like. That's what I would want to put on Yes For, is tracks like that. To hear the song, to hear the interplay, to hear the arrangement, to hear all the stuff that they're doing. That's me. I like that kind of thing. That's what it is. Okay. Up next, closing it out, Heart of the Sunrise. Another, you know, awesome track. We're going to check out. I'll catch you then. Later. <laughs>